At first glance, heat transfer might seem like one of the most well-understood topics in physics. You light one end of a metal rod, and over time the other end gets hot. Simple, right? That's exactly what Fourier's law describes. A smooth, predictable flow of heat from hot regions to cold ones, driven by temperature gradients. But dig deeper, literally into the nanoscale, ultra-fast timescales, or extreme environments, and the rules begin to bend, twist, and sometimes break. In these exotic regimes, certain materials exhibit behaviors that seem to defy Fourier's law, leading to what's known as the heat transfer anomaly paradox. Let's take a step back. Fourier's law states that heat flows proportionally to the negative temperature gradient, hotter to colder, smoothly and diffusively. It assumes that heat carriers, mainly phonons and solids, which are quantized vibrations of atoms, move randomly and collide frequently. The result? A gradual, diffusive spread of thermal energy, much like a drop of dye diffusing through water. But what if the phones don't scatter as expected? What if they travel ballistically, like bullets, across the material without bouncing around? This happens in ultra-thin materials, nanowires, graphene, or at extremely low temperatures. Instead of diffusing, the heat carriers maintain their direction, zooming through the material like cars on an open freeway. This leads to non-local, wave-like, or even quantized heat flow. The classical diffusion model simply doesn't hold. Take graphene, for example. A single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice. It exhibits extremely high thermal conductivity, far beyond what Fourier's law predicts. Why? Because phonons and graphene have long, mean-free paths and can carry heat ballistically over micrometer distances. That means heat doesn't just spread from hot to cold, it can leap across the material in a focused, almost laser-like way. Then there are time scales. When heat is introduced very rapidly, on the order of picoseconds, trillionths of a second, there isn't enough time for phonons to scatter and equilibrate. Instead, the energy propagates in thermal waves, a phenomenon called second sound. Imagine clapping your hands and feeling the heat travel as a pulse, not a slow warm-up. This has been observed in materials like solid helium and even engineered super lattices. Here, heat behaves more like a sound wave than a random walk, completely at odds with what Fourier's law would suggest. You might ask, but why does this matter? Because our entire thermal management infrastructure, cooling of electronics, design of materials, thermal imaging, assumes Fourier's law holds true. But in nanoscale devices, where layers are just a few atoms thick and timescales are ultra fast, classical assumptions collapse. Your smartphone, quantum computer, or next generation solar cell might already be operating in a regime where anomalous heat transfer dominates. Another paradoxical case occurs in materials that exhibit thermal rectification, like a thermal diode. In these materials, heat flows better in one direction than the other, much like electricity in an electrical diode. That shouldn't happen in passive systems, according to traditional thermodynamics, but it does, thanks to nonlinear lattice dynamics or temperature-dependent phonon scattering it's like making heat prefer one direction over another. This opens up new possibilities for thermal computing, energy harvesting, and smart insulation, but also challenges our core assumptions. And it gets even stranger. In disordered or amorphous materials, sometimes heat doesn't diffuse at all. It localizes. Energy introduced in one region stays there, refusing to spread, much like electrons in Anderson localization. This kind of thermal trapping contradicts our expectations entirely and forces researchers to think beyond conventional transport theories. So how do materials conduct heat in ways that contradict Fourier's law? Because Fourier's law is a classical approximation best suited for macroscopic, steady-state homogeneous systems. In the real world, especially at the frontiers of material science, we deal with non-equilibrium conditions, nanoscale confinement, ultra-fast phenomena, and quantum effects. These domains reveal anomalies not because the materials are broken, but because our traditional equations are too simple to capture their complexity. Could this paradox help us? Absolutely. Understanding heat anomalies could lead to better thermal insulators, hyperconductive nanowires, non-volatile memory, and quantum devices that manage temperature at the atomic scale. It could even reshape how we think about thermodynamics in the quantum world. And perhaps that's the deeper lesson of the heat transfer anomaly paradox, that even the most familiar laws of physics, like how heat flows, 
are not universal truths, but approximations, only valid within specific boundaries. Once you push beyond those boundaries, nature reveals new rules, new tools, and new mysteries waiting to be understood. Fourier's law of heat conduction states that the heat flux through a material is proportional to the negative gradient of temperature, implying a smooth, predictable energy flow from hot to cold regions. Under normal conditions, this law accurately describes how heat diffuses through bulk materials. However, it assumes that the material behaves homogeneously and that energy carriers, such as phonons, scatter frequently enough to establish a diffusive regime. This classical framework provides the basis for most thermal engineering but may not hold under extreme or non-standard conditions. In a typical metal rod at room temperature, heat flows uniformly from the heated end to the cooler end following the linear temperature gradient predicted by Fourier's law. It's like water flowing steadily through a wide, well-lined channel where the speed of the water depends predictably on the slope of the channel. In certain materials and under extreme conditions, experimental observations have revealed heat transfer behaviors that deviate from Fourier's predictions. These anomalies include cases where heat conduction is unusually rapid, or conversely, where it appears to be suppressed despite large temperature gradients. Such phenomena are often observed in low-dimensional systems, nanomaterials, or materials subjected to very high or very low temperatures. These discrepancies challenge the universality of Fourier's law and signal that additional factors are at play in the heat conduction process. Experiments with carbon nanotubes and graphene have shown instances of ballistic heat conduction where thermal energy travels with minimal scattering, contradicting the diffusive behavior expected from Fourier's law. It's like water rushing through a narrow pipe with little friction, moving much faster than it would in a broad, rough channel. At the microscopic level, heat in non-metallic solids is primarily conducted by phonons, which are quantized lattice vibrations. In many materials, phonons scatter frequently, leading to diffusive transport as described by Fourier's law. However, in low-dimensional or highly ordered materials, phonon scattering can be significantly reduced. This reduced scattering results in ballistic transport, where phonons travel long distances without interaction, causing heat to move in a manner that defies traditional diffusive models. The transition from diffusive to ballistic regimes is a key factor in understanding the heat transfer anomaly. In high-quality graphene sheets, phonons can travel micrometer distances without scattering, leading to thermal conductivity values that far exceed those predicted by Fourier's law for similar materials. It's like a bullet traveling in a vacuum with little resistance compared to a car navigating a busy city with constant stops and starts. To account for the anomalies in heat conduction, scientists have developed non-Fourier models that incorporate effects such as finite speed of thermal signals and memory effects. These models, such as the cataneo vernot equation or hyperbolic heat conduction models, introduce a time delay in the response of the heat flux to a temperature gradient. This approach helps describe scenarios where heat transfer occurs faster or slower than predicted by Fourier's law particularly in transient or microscale systems. Such modifications acknowledge that the classical instantaneous diffusion assumption of Fourier's law is sometimes too simplistic. The hyperbolic heat conduction model successfully explains experimental observations in laser-heated thin films where heat propagates at a finite speed rather than instantaneously. It's like replacing the assumption of a lightning-fast internet connection with one that acknowledges a brief lag time before data is fully transmitted. Extreme conditions such as very high or very low temperatures, high pressures, or nanoscale dimensions can dramatically alter the behavior of heat carriers. Under these circumstances, standard assumptions about scattering rates, material homogeneity, and phonon dispersion relations no longer hold true. Materials may exhibit either enhanced or diminished thermal conductivity depending on how these conditions affect the movement and interactions of energy carriers. This variability is central to the heat transfer anomaly, where observed conduction rates differ significantly from Fourier's law predictions. At cryogenic temperatures, some materials demonstrate a peak in thermal conductivity due to reduced phonon scattering, while at extremely high temperatures, 
and harmonic effects can lower thermal conductivity. It's like a road that becomes either exceptionally smooth or incredibly bumpy, depending on weather conditions. Both extremes affecting the speed and efficiency of travel. The atomic structure and dimensionality of a material greatly influence its thermal properties. In one-dimensional and two-dimensional materials, such as nanowires or graphene, the confinement of phonons leads to behaviors not seen in bulk materials. These structural characteristics can enhance ballistic transport and cause thermal conductivity to deviate from the classical diffusive models of Fourier's law. Understanding these effects is crucial for designing materials with tailored heat transfer properties for applications in electronics, thermoelectrics, and nanotechnology. Carbon nanotubes, which are effectively one-dimensional, exhibit thermal conductivity that can be orders of magnitude higher than that of three-dimensional bulk materials due to minimal phonon scattering along their length. It's like comparing a narrow, smooth highway where cars can travel at high speeds with a congested, winding mountain road. Each road's structure dramatically affects travel efficiency. Advancements in experimental techniques have enabled the precise measurement of thermal conductivity and heat flux at micro and nanoscale levels, providing evidence of anomalies in heat transfer. Techniques such as time domain thermal reflectance, scanning thermal microscopy, and ultrafast laser spectroscopy allow researchers to observe how heat propagates in materials under extreme conditions. These methods have revealed deviations from Fourier's law, confirming that certain materials exhibit non-diffusive heat conduction. Such empirical findings are vital for validating new theoretical models and for the development of next-generation thermal management technologies. Ultra-fast laser spectroscopy has been used to measure the rapid heat propagation in thin films, revealing a finite speed of heat transfer that aligns with hyperbolic heat conduction models rather than Fourier's instantaneous diffusion. It's like using a high-speed camera to capture the splash of a water droplet revealing details that would be impossible to see with the naked eye and showing that the splash follows a different pattern than expected. Understanding the heat transfer anomaly has significant implications for the design of advanced materials and devices, particularly in electronics, aerospace, and energy systems. By accounting for non-Fourier heat conduction, engineers can develop materials with optimized thermal properties for efficient cooling and energy conversion. This knowledge enables the creation of nanoscale devices that can handle high power densities without overheating, improving performance and reliability. The anomaly challenges traditional engineering approaches and inspires innovative designs that leverage the unique thermal behaviors of materials under extreme conditions. In high-performance computer processors, materials that exhibit ballistic heat conduction are being integrated to efficiently dissipate heat, thereby preventing thermal throttling. It's like designing a state-of-the-art cooling system for a race car that uses specialized materials to rapidly channel heat away from the engine, ensuring peak performance even under intense conditions. Future research in heat transfer will likely focus on further exploring the limits of Fourier's law and developing new models that better capture the nuances of thermal conduction in advanced materials. Innovations in nanofabrication and computational modeling will enable more precise control over material properties and a deeper understanding of non-diffusive heat transport mechanisms. These advances could lead to breakthroughs in energy efficiency, electronics cooling, and the development of thermoelectric materials. Ultimately, exploring the heat transfer anomaly not only deepens our fundamental understanding of thermal physics, but also drives technological progress in critical industries. Ongoing projects are investigating the use of two-dimensional materials and nanostructured composites that exhibit unconventional thermal properties, potentially leading to revolutionary cooling technologies for next-generation electronics. It's like discovering a new kind of insulation that can both keep heat in and drive energy conversion, fundamentally changing the way we design everything from homes to spacecraft.